makes it to a point where you don't want to be in business. Business owners are hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst as state lawmakers prepare to vote on bills that could impact the way they do business. The 2017 legislative session starts in less than two weeks. Hello, I'm Jim Dunaway. And I'm Sherry Jackson. Before lawmakers head to Montgomery, some people in Alabama are getting together to talk about the proposed bills that would impact them the most. CBS 42 News reporter Jamie Ostroff is the only reporter inside that meeting with local restaurant owners and state Senator Jabo Wagner. Jamie, what issues are these restaurant owners most concerned about? Well, Sherry, you might remember the big debate over minimum wage last year during the legislative session. Senator Jabba Wagner does expect that to come up again this year. But there is another bill on the table that's got a lot of folks talking. You might know it as the bathroom bill. Running a restaurant requires a lot of care. John Crantiris puts a lot of care into his restaurant, Nabil's, to make sure the customer experience is just right. It's going to make them feel like they're not in Birmingham, Alabama, or in the United States. They're somewhere in Europe, and a lot of people have been saying that. But Crantiris worries that this seven-page bill will impact that experience if it passes. The expense involved in accommodating this new rule that they want us to do, it would be cost prohibitive. SB1, or the self-titled Alabama Privacy Act, says that public bathrooms with multiple stalls must be exclusively for the same gender or staffed by an attendant. The bill is intended to protect people's physical and emotional security and comes amid a nationwide debate about transgender rights. The topic briefly came up Wednesday when Crontiris and other restaurant owners joined Senator Jabba Wagner to talk about the upcoming legislative session. To hire and, you know, train people uh, and start policing the restrooms would be uh, uh, just a tremendous burden on operating a business. Wagner, who often advocates for the restaurant industry, did not propose the bill. The devil's in the details. I have not seen the bills. I don't know, you know, the details of it, but if it looks right, I will support it. While a lot of the restaurant owners I talked to were against the bill, the Alabama uh, Restaurant and Hospitality Association uh, has not taken an official stance on it quite yet. Live in Birmingham tonight, Jamie Ostroff, CBS 42 News.